up out there to begin with. All right, he inspired a television catchphrase, no soup for you. But the real life businessman behind the minor character on the hit show Seinfeld is taking his brand beyond the Big Apple and soon you too could have soup. Al Yagana, the owner of Soup Kitchen International joins us now as well as his CEO John Bello. Uh, good evening gentlemen. Al, congratulations on this idea. You're franchising your, your soup operation. Yes, I am. Why franchise? I, I, didn't like, I, did, I didn't even like what you say. No soup for you. You're making fun of the whole program, I guess. Carol? <laughs> oh. What the hell is that? No soup. Oh, Al, I do want soup. And I, and I do want to know, I do want to know what, how you got this idea. I did you a favor to give an interview. Now you're using that line, which is not really nice. John, is he Carol, really mad at me? <laughs> Carol, I think I he is. I am mad at you, yes. For, for, uh, Carol, it's really about the soup and it's really not about Seinfeld so I think he'll be able to ask, uh, answer some questions about why we're doing this, why he's doing this now and how we plan to share uh, Al's soup with the whole world. Well Al can you tell me why, um, why, why do you have difficulty with the Seinfeld connection? Because he's a clown, he uses the n-word, not the word which is disgrace the human race. That's what I'm um, angry with him. You really are but you're, you're famous because of him. No, he got fame to me. I made them famous. The whole New York can know. Everybody knows these things. Al was in business uh, 10 to 15 years before the Seinfeld episode, and uh, people stand around the block uh, to get into his store to pay uh -huh. 30 bucks for a pint of soup. So for Al, it's really about the soup, and the reason I'm involved is uh, the superior quality of the soup and the opportunity uh, that we all have to share his soup with the world. Uh-huh, and um, share it uh, by selling these franchises, what, a thousand, you think a thousand franchises in the next five to seven years? We've already gotten over a thousand applications for franchises, and that's just as a result of one little sign in, in his shop here in New York. We anticipate uh, g getting thousands more, and we're mm -hmm. going to be very selective about who we in fact, grant a franchise too. Really? Because, you know, if, if Al, people do bring Seinfeld up, I assume that you're not going to accept their application. We are strongly discouraging any reference to the Seinfeld episode because really it's about the soup. Right, Al? Okay. My product doesn't need that clown. My <laughs> product speaks for themselves. All the right. word of the mouth. I've been doing it over the quarter century. Hey, yes. Al, uh, Zagat's, yes. Zagat's actually, uh, the, you know, the guidebook actually ranks your soups higher than some of New York's best restaurants. What is it about your soups that make them so special, famous, and franchisable? That is a proper question from the wrong person. Why don't you ask Zagat? Why don't you ask the public? Why are you asking me this question? Because you're the one who made the recipe. And that is a dedication, lifetime, work, education, and re-education, and not cutting corner, be yourself, earning the people trust, and having the most fresh ingredient with your soup, mm -hmm. the passion, the love. Yes, it is. Before Al, there was only soup, and uh, after Al, because he's a pioneer, he's created the number one soup in the super premium category, and Zagat took it upon himself to dedicate a whole page to Al's soup, so I think that's testimony enough to the quality and demand for his product, which is again why uh, we see this as a business opportunity to, t to take it to consumers mm -hmm. around the world. All why right. just keep it in New York? You bet. All right. Well, the Big Apple uh, spreading fame and now fortune. John Bello, thank you very much. Al Yagana. You're Soup very welcome. Kitchen International. All right. Well, I guess no soup for me. We leave you tonight.